Okay, ex-NFL player Sergio Brown was found and arrested for the murder of his mother, Myrtle Brown. If you remember, Sergio and his mother were originally reported missing in September, but suspicions grew when Sergio released a video of himself claiming that his mother's death was fake news. Sergio was caught in California and will be extradited to Illinois on the first degree murder charge. What do you think about this crazy story, Al? This is just, this is just drastically tragic and sad. I've been reading everything about Miss Myrtle and, uh, and uh, allegedly, guys, Miss Myrtle was a sharp dresser and she was known in her community as a stepper. Like she was, she knew how to do the line dances and step and everything. So it's just hard to hard to digest that a 73 year old woman would be taken out like this, especially since he lived with her in her home that she had been at for many, many years. All I can say in this case is that I did watch the video that Jasmine Brand put up today, and he looked very unhealthy. He looked grossly uh, skinny. He looked like he was high or it was under some type of allegedly some type of chemical um, or uh, alcohol. Um, but I will say this, if he is guilty, they need to put his ass underneath the jail. I agree. What a tragic story. Q, what do you think? You know, we got multiple things going on here. Mm. Much to Al's point, I saw the pictures of this woman and, and, and her spirit, I don't even know this lady from a can of paint, but her spirit just radiated through the picture and it just mm. gave me that feeling that you get from like the ladies at church that make the good uh -huh. caramel cakes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's what I felt when I saw her pictures. Um, but we cannot, in our rage and our upset and in our anger, we cannot negate the fact that his video show that he was clearly mentally unstable mm -hmm. and I'm not making excuses for him, but that, that, that video right there that, that y'all are showing, I've watched that thing and I've analyzed it several times. Like when I went to Florida state university and got my degree in economics, them people ain't teach me nothing about psychiatry. All right. But it don't take a rocket scientist to see that something is not right with this boy um and you know hopefully we get the truth but it's giving very one who accused share of hiring men to kidnap him from his hotel home in an attempt at an intervention now share's son has a history of substance abuse however share recently denied the allegations all right y'all funky <laughs> al do you believe that Cher is in the clear? Go ahead, Al. I see you guys. Hell no, you know, Cher lying. We know Cher is lying. lying. Cher is lying. We know Cher is lying. You call it kidnap. I tell. I call it pick him up and taking him to freaking <laughs> rehab. That there's, the, the ex-wife is the one that called it re kidnapping. Now let's go on and break this down a little bit. Now on November 30th, 2022 is when this went down. He was in a hotel with his ex-wife or the wife that called it quote kidnapping they had been in this hotel everybody for more than 10 days like 12 days and Cher was like okay we're not doing this this is my this is just my perspective everyone in my head Cher's like we're not doing this I'm paying for all of this we're not doing this he needs help she sent a little help over there you know two big old strong security guards to go over there pick him up and take his ass to rehab. That's how I interpreted what happened. She say tomato, I say tomato. You say kidnap, I say, uh, what do you say? Uh, intervention. Pick them up, intervention. Okay. Q, what you think about this? She did exactly what the hell you're supposed to do when you have a family member that's messed up. You let me find out. Somebody told me my sister or something was on drugs. I'm going over there. I'm bamming on the door. I'm taking her children. I, she going to have to fight me. We going to have to fight down to the damn ground. And then I'm, I'm, I'm going to have, uh, I ain't got share money to hire no security guards. So I'm going to get my cousin, Ray Ray, and I'm going to get um, Raekwon them to throw her ass in the back of somebody's car. And I'm.